Samsung is a very large player in the solid state drive market, as well as being the best seller for us here at ATD Computers. The 120 gigabyte version we're testing today has read and write speeds of 530 megabits per second and 130 megabits per second, respectively. So it sort of fits into the entry level segment. Let's take a look. Here's a chart for some basic specifications. There's design, series, capacity, sequential read and write speeds, and random read and write. The Samsung 840 series keep much of the same styling as the 830 series. It has an all black metal casing with a sort of chrome accent on the edges. On one end of the drive you have your connections, which of course are your SATA data and power connections. Looking at the drive from the side, you can see just how thin it is. The drive features a new MDX controller that has been revised since the 830 series. The three processor cores are ARM9 based and the controller has eight memory channels. Multiple cores allow the drive not to lose performance when background tasks are being performed. The firmware will control which tasks are assigned to the cores. This controller is able to handle incompressible data without any issues. The drive also has a DRAM cache. The 120 gigabyte version sports a 256 megabytes DDR2 cache, while the higher capacity drives have 512 gigabytes. Well, enough about the drive. Let's get it in our system and start testing. Opening up Crystal Disk Info, we can see all of the information about the drive. It supports Smart, NCQ, and most importantly, Trim. For testing the drive, we will be using the following benchmarking programs. HD Tune Pro, ATTO Disk Benchmark, Crystal Disk Mark, AS SSD Benchmark, and Anvil Storage Utility Professional. We also made these optimization changes. No power saving options in the BIOS. ACHI enables in the BIOS. Windows 7 user account control is disabled. Windows 7 power saving settings are disabled. So let's get into testing. HT Tune Pro has many different benchmarks and tests built into it. Our first test is the read benchmark. Looking at the results, we can see the drive have had an average of 467.7 megabits per second, which is actually extremely good for this test. And looking at the graph, the transfer rate was pretty smooth, which says a lot for the controller. Next up is the write benchmark. The write benchmark hits the advertised 130 megabits per second for the most part, and again, it's quite smooth. Now we have the random access test. This test measures the performance of random read and write operations. The performance of the drive is reported in IOPS. Here are both of the results from the read and write random access tests. We normally like to see 5000 and over in the 4K test. You can see that it exceeded that in both the read and write tests. Next up, we have ATTO Disk Benchmark that measures transfer rates across specific lengths. ATTO uses raw data. Our transfer sizes range from 0.5 to 8,192 kilobytes. Crystal Disk Mark is our next test, and it has a sequential read and write test. The next test is Anvil Storage Utilities. The SSD benchmark gives you scores for both read and write as well as the combined score. We also use Anvil to test IOPS. With the queue depth set to 32, we tested both read and write IOPS. Our final test is the ASSSD benchmark. This benchmark contains four synthetic as well as three practice tests. It also not only shows you the transfer speeds, but also IOPS. At the heart of the 840 series is the Samsung's own MDX controller. This controller has proven itself to be one of the best controllers out there right now. Looking at the read tests, especially the HD Tune Read benchmark, we can see how fluid the transfer rates are. With many other drives, we see transfer speeds jump around quite a bit. This means that you are reading and writing data from the drive it is going to stay right around the same transfer rate. Be sure to visit our website at www.atdcomputers.com to check out our best seller featured in this video today. Thank you for watching.